Judge, today's case is tardy for the party. Booze, alcohol, do it fluid. This couple is floating in a river of it. Let's see if I can help get them out. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Dashia Goodwin and William Goodwin, Mr. and Mrs. Goodwin. You have been married for two years. You have one child together. Mrs. Goodwin, you're seeking uh, recovery for expenses that you've incurred with respect to your daughter, and we will talk about that momentarily. However, before we do, I will ask you to tell me a little bit about your marriage and why we're here in divorce court today. The reason why I'm here, Your Honor, is because I had no idea that this man was an alcoholic and a cheater, and if he don't get himself together soon, we're gonna... We're done. How often do you drink and how much do you drink? And do you think you have as big a problem as she contends you do? I drink once I get off of work. Uh, I sit on, what if I'm off, I drink. No, like, Your Honor, he Do you drink, drink every day? Yeah, yes. I drink every day. How much do you drink each day? Uh, all together, I'd say like a 12-pack or 18-pack. 12 together. to 18 beers every day? I mean, all, like... Mm -hmm. A 24, like the 24 ounce, but it's not like the. I'll one drink like three or four one of those. 24 ounce? No, like I drink like three or four of those a day. Three or four 24 ounces yeah. a day. Is that accurate? No. He'll you tell me how like much a, you say he drinks. He'll get drink. like a 12 pack. He'll sit outside and drink that every night. He'll probably get like an 18 pack and drink that too. Like the three packs, the tall ones. But I'm not pants, drinking by myself. You, as long as she just said that, I'll be sitting he, outside with my friends. Yes, right? he, he's so drinking, drinking by himself. So he's drinking, drinking by himself because his myself. friends, they provide the alcohol for him, like the liquor and things like that, but he provides the beer and everything for himself. So he's drinking hard liquor in addition to yes, the beer? Yes, yes, he What, yes, what he kind is. of hard liquor do you drink? I barely even drink liquor. Paul Masson. If I do drink, <laughs> if I do drink he liquor, I, that's yes, what I would, but I don't, I don't buy, she know I don't go to the liquor store and buy liquor. Uh-huh. I mean, if but somebody if has some, have some, yeah, I'll you'll drink, have but a I'm taste. Not, I'm not a, Are you at all concerned about your alcohol consumption? I'm not, it, it could be a problem. I, I, it is. It could be a problem. It's a very it big be a problem. problem. Name a day when it became a problem. You gotta have a story for me. Name a day when it became a problem. It became a problem when I noticed that it's been a change in him. It, it, it has became a problem because he'll sit there, he'll, he'll even drink before he go to work, and that'll cause him to call out from work. He don't want to, you know, like, he'll sit there and tell the people, he, he'll sit there and tell stories to the people that he had to go bail someone out of jail or, you know, and it's not true. He's just not willing to go to work because he's sitting out there having a good time and he's I mean, not yeah, wanting you, to go. She, she calls out of work, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that momentarily. I'm I mean, gonna get to you. I we, we, get paid for mine, though. We, we, but, but do you? <laughs> so do sometimes you opt to drink as opposed to go to work? No. I mean, I. I you if, just if, said she calls out of work too, which yeah. indicates that I mean, it's I, something if, you if do I'm, do. Because I work in the evening, so and I usually wake up pretty early, and um, I have a few beers. If 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 I feel like I'm not capable to go to work, you won't. I might. No. I'm not finna put that. What kind of, what kind of, do you get inebriated every time? You get uh, drunk every time? You just get a little buzz yeah. going? Yeah. Is that true? He be drunk and high at the same time going to work sometimes, you honor. Oh. He does. He does. Uh, give me a, what kind of uh, inebriated person is he? Is he, a, is he a happy drunk? Is he a mean drunk? He's a happy drunk to a certain extent. When he figures out something is not going his way, then he gets angry and try to accuse me of doing things that ain't even there. Mm -hmm. And like sometimes she uses that, as, she used that to her advantage. And, like, she knows oh, when I'm yeah. drinking. So you don't And I'm remember? happy, so she'll start, like, nitpicking and start coming up with stuff to start I mean, because I'm in my happy place at this point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so I don't need to hear this, this, that, why this, why that, why this, why that, why this. I don't want to hear that. Yeah, yeah. So now, I'm finna, now you done blew my drunk a little bit, so now I got to go get some more. <laughs> and get back where I was. I mean, nobody wants to hear that. Get your buzz back. Yeah, try so to get my buzz back. You got to get your back. buzz back. You, you, done say she, that? you say she's controlling. Oh, yeah. She goes through your phone. Give me a few examples of that. Uh, well... <laughs> it's just like that. She just goes through my phone. I wake up, I go to the bathroom or go outside or something, and, and I leave my phone in, in the char on the charger or whatever, and I come back, who this is? I thought you said you ain't talking. Who is this? What, how, 
How, There's been plenty of times he has been talking to his ex-girlfriends and things like that, so I don't trust him at all. And then when he's drinking and intoxic very intoxicated, all he wants to do is be touchy feeling to me, and I don't want that at all. So I don't get like if he if he's sober, I, he he does not acknowledge me at all. He just sits there and look at me like, okay, he, he acts mean, like a little sad puppy sitting on the bed. But she sits, she so, like I said, mm -hmm. with, the control, with the controlling part, she tells me what to wear. She tells me where I can go. He can't how long dress I can you, stay. Honor. <laughs> I don't dress, well, I don't go nowhere but work. But he still can't dress. I don't go out to no clubs, we no bar, no March nothing. I, said, I, I get had off to work, actually I come go there and buy him an outfit. I, bought, I purchased the shoes and the outfit. And the she tells me when I can wear because. I know that William does not have a lot, so me, by being his wife, I go out there and try to make him look presentable. Um, he'll sit there, like the white shoes, he'll sit there, I just paid $100 for these shoes, he'll sit there and want to wash a car in these shoes or either want to go outside while it's wet and dirty up these shoes. I mean, I don't purchase things for him to, you know, do it, do things like that in. So. And then she, she, you buy a man the shoes, let him wear the shoes when he wants to wear his shoes. Don't be telling him all of that. That's too much. Mm -hmm. and, 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 mm -hmm. and one day we were sitting, because uh, before I got my phone, I was using one of her old phones, and my face was, was connected to it. So one day we were sitting in the house, and I hear a bing. So I ain't paying no attention. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't really message people and like that. So right. next thing you know, she, look, she picks up the phone, and it's some chick. I don't tell my hey. I'm like, I don't know who she's talking about. Who is this? I knew you were cheating. I'm, I don't even know the girl. All she said was, hey. Next thing you know, she goes to email or uh, test the girl back and trying to FaceTime, trying to talk to her. I don't know who the girl how was. You know, how do you know you were, she was talking? What, what gives you evidence that he was Ain't talking no to her? Ain't no way in the world a person going to constantly keep on hitting you up like that if you're not giving them no Am I responding reply. back? Yeah, I was responding I resp back at exactly. that time. But what, what was she saying? I didn't respond back, what was so she how was saying? I talking to She was saying, hey, how you doing? And she all of a sudden just clicked on the Facebook message and found out that it wasn't William, so she actually hung up the phone. But still, um... What's your best evidence that he's running around? Because so far, I haven't seen anything. Telling his homeboy that he's not entitled to do nothing because this B-I-T-C-H and her family has me up. And yeah, mm-hmm. That's all in the text messages and everything that I have, Your Honor. Ooh, Mr. Goodwin. <laughs> I can't even read this out loud. <laughs>
the person who's drinking who has the problem. It really is a family systems problem. So I would absolutely recommend that he gets himself into probably initially a rehab because you cannot detox without doing it very intentionally and carefully with the amount of alcohol that he's consuming. It could be lethal to him if he yep. tried to quit on his own. It's very critical for him to get the right help. Could you tell me what Mrs. Goodwin's role in his recovery would have to be? Because you said it was a family system problem. That's right. Ms. Goodwin's role would absolutely to be get, getting herself into something like Al-Anon, which is um, a program that really, really helps the, the family who's dealing with addiction of any kind. Because the role of the family members are often that they keep the problem continuing there's and people might disagree with that but really that's it is a family system problem she contributes to it the family will always participate if they're still doing something to enable the alcoholic such as like right now she's describing that um she participates in all of these things really it's just getting into treatment period end of story all of these infidelity stories all of these um you know, the dishonesty, those are just symptoms of the problem. And so really getting him and her into treatment, him into a detox rehab and her into really Al-Anon, a program like that. Thank you so much for your words of wisdom. We certainly do appreciate it. Absolutely. Good luck. People don't, people fail to realize she's not an angel. Give me her devil for side. For me to react like, I, keep, I tell her every time, with every action, there's a reaction. So what is she doing? Give me some stories. Well, uh... I got a, 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 a recording. Oh. OK. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and for exclusive content, go to Apple TV. First of all, you know, I wanted to make sure you got an opportunity to hear her because I was surprised by your admission that you're an alcoholic. My paperwork said that you didn't believe that. But I am so impressed that you just stood up here in front of everybody and copped to that. It's not an easy thing to do. And I appreciate that. And I appreciate that. And, and I hope, hope to help you with Let me ask you this. Would you write these messages? Are you intoxicated then? Or is this just angry, Mr. Goodwin, not drunk, Mr. You Goodwin? People don't, people fail to realize she's not an angel. Give me her devil For side. me to react like, I, keep, I tell her every time, with every action, there's a reaction. So what is she doing? Give me some stories. Well, uh, I got a, 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 a recording. Oh. OK. Brace yourself. I got proof that you shut up and talk about me to these And that is me, Your Honor. And Mrs. the reason why Goodwin. the reason why I'm going off like that, Your Honor, because as you can see, that proof where he wrote to his one of his homeboys one time that he sits up and talk about me to people. People are around in the apartment complex telling me that I don't have my stuff together. And from one thing to the next, I mean, people keep coming to me with these things that William has always said about me. Instead of him coming to me, he goes to outsiders, and outsiders is looking at me like I'm crazy, like I don't really have my stuff mm -hmm. together. But if you listen to the whole thing, she clearly said to herself that she tell her mom and her family everything. Yes, I talked to my mother so about everything. So she goes back everything. behind my back and tell, I tell do, people and stuff, I talk but then to when I want to sit there and talk to somebody, too. Yes, I do. I do. It's all right for that's, you to do something, like but then when outlet. I do it, it's and, wrong. And then when he, with, with, with the rehab situation, he has been to rehab before one time before. He mm -hmm. has, mm -hmm. and it didn't help him. Yeah, but did you hear what Ms. Diaz says? It's a systemic problem in the mm -hmm. family. You ain't helping. Mm -hmm. that, 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 that conversation, that level of ire, that language that you use, do you really believe that that is, is accomplishing anything? This is getting my point across. Pretty but does much. it change, does it alter his behavior? Uh, no, it, he So you're not getting it. your point across. Mm -hmm. you, 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 what you're doing is you're having a temper tantrum. Mm -hmm. 
That's mm -hmm. all. You just feel you're just making yourself feel better by spewing out a string of filthy, nasty words. Mm -hmm. And in so doing, you not only not get your point across, but you discourage better behavior on his part because he's living with a lunatic. Mm -hmm. He's hearing all of that stuff. There's no way, there's no way to appropriately, accurately, or meaningfully respond because you're in a state of, 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 of I, don't, I hate that word hysteria because it's, it's attached to womanhood and I, you know, y'all be using that against us. But, but it's a state of, uh, uh, of, 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 of rage. But that, that's not what type of person I am. I'm a sweet, loving person, but still, <laughs> if William pushes my point, that's me. I'm taking it to, I can go from zero to a thousand real quick, and that's just me. And he knows how to push my buttons. Mm -hmm. I don't, Somebody you have, cross the street listen, you, you have front, no buttons. In front of you, you have absolutely no buttons anywhere on you. Hmm. You're a grown woman. You can mm -hmm. decide to respond any way you want to. Okay. He don't want you. You know what I mean? You, you know, if, if, if anybody can upset you, everybody can own you. What, and what kind of life is that, running around responding to what everybody else sends into your direction? I know you're upset. I know you're sick of him. I know, I know he drinks too much, but he does have a job, He's, you know, and all that kind of stuff. What you just did there is not helpful. Are you really leaving him, Mrs. Goodwin? Uh, I am thinking about it. I'm going to give him about two weeks. If I don't see any change, then I'm leaving. Yes, ma'am, I am. You know, two weeks isn't enough time oh, for an alcoholic to get straight. I don't gave him a lifetime. You've given him a lifetime? Yes, I, it's done been going on for two years now. Yes, ma'am, I will be. Mr. Goodwin, what do you have to say to her? Give her, turn and look at her. You turn and look at yes, him. Two weeks You notice. give her your best shot at telling her how things are gonna be different. If, in fact, they are. If not, turn back around and we'll talk. I can slow down the drinking if you can, can learn how to control your temper. I can I, when, I, when I get off work, I don't wanna hear I just wanna sit down, drink me a few beers, and watch TV like I normally do, or go to sleep. Okay. Can we make this a two-way effort? Yes, that's the step that I got to take to go to counseling myself. Right, right. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you can learn to be... That's completely and utterly within your control. A lot of people say it isn't, but it is. Your temper, your, all of that. So, you want $500 if, in fact, you do leave. Tell me why you believe Mr. Goodwin should pay you $500. So, my mother had to end up picking up from, I say it started in March until now. My mother just recently stopped, you know, paying everything that was all backed up. Mr. Goodwin, I'm not gonna make you pay any money because it's, it's staying within the same household. You put taking <laughs> money out of one pocket and put it in the other pocket. But I'm gonna say two things to you. You have got to control your drinking enough. I'm not telling you to stop. If you stop all of a sudden, it's gonna be a problem. But enough to get to work all the time. If you two continue as you are, you screaming and you drinking, your kid does not have a shot at rational. Mm -hmm. She cannot grow up in that kind of uncertainty, chaos, and static and turn out okay. You're solid enough to make it work, and it is my hope that you are able to do so. There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. He says he's gonna cut back on the drinking. Do you believe him when he says that? He has to prove that to me. I would say when he prove it, then you know I start believing everything. But for right now, no, not really. I don't. So if he anything. doesn't, will, will you leave? In, in two weeks, yes, I will. So it's a hard two week. Mm -hmm. morning. It's a hard two weeks in the morning. Yes, sir, it is. I mean, Judge Lynn dug into you a little bit. We heard that recording. I mean, mm -hmm. will you cut back on that temper a little bit as well? Yes, I will.